Hello everybody and welcome to this video on creating courses with cognitive load theory in mind. My name is Elizabeth Jones and by the end of this video you will be able to identify and mitigate cognitive load based on split attention and redundancy effects. According to Dae Jong, cognitive load theory is a psychological theory that looks at how the working memory manages the information it receives and what limitations we have regarding the capacity to remember data based on presentation. Sweller outlines instructional design principles that have been tested and show better performance results for learners when compared to traditional instructional procedures. There are several instructional effects, and I will discuss two of them, the split attention effect and the redundancy effect. So let's jump right in. The split attention effect, according to Sweller, refers to a cognitive event that occurs when learners have to process multiple sources of information at the same time that aren't combined. When that information is presented in that manner, it requires learners to mentally integrate the different pieces of data, which can result in an elevated cognitive load. The increased cognitive load comes from the need to process and unify various sources of information actively. To mitigate the split attention effect, instructional designers should focus on presenting information in an integrated manner. So let's look at an example of the split attention effect. Here we see a map of Europe. Five countries need to be learned, each labeled with a number. The key on the right lists the numbers with the corresponding European country. So we see number one is France, number two is Spain, number three is Italy, number four is Germany, and number five is the United Kingdom. Now each country has been clearly identified, but learners have to look between the map and the key to know which country is which. Now, look at the following map. The same countries are identified, but this time each is labeled with the country's name identifying its location. Integrating the country's names directly into the map lessens the split attention and minimizes cognitive load. Next, we're gonna look at the redundancy effect. Sweller states that the redundancy effect is a cognitive occurrence that happens when redundant or extraneous information is found within instructional materials. The redundant information can lead to cognitive overload and hamper the learning process. Learners who are presented with this unneeded information have to use extra mental resources to process the data, and that extra processing doesn't help the learners to understand or learn any better. It merely increases the cognitive load. So to avoid that effect, instructional designers need to aspire to eliminate or at least reduce redundant information within their instructional materials. And that can be done by ensuring any information given is necessary and meaningful to the learning process and by avoiding unnecessary repetition. By doing this, instructional materials can increase the efficiency and effectiveness of the learning process. So let's take a look at a redundancy effect example. A social studies class is learning to identify countries by their appearance. This slide is presented to the class. Now the map of the United States is beneficial and labeling it as the United States might also be helpful. However, all the extra visuals provided don't help identify the United States by sight and in fact take away attention from what really needs to be learned. And you can also count on an instructor who would use all these images, commenting about some of the other pictures, which could cause further cognitive overload. This visual shows a map of the United States. It is straightforward and shows the exact information the students need to learn without additional visuals or narration. That concludes this video on creating courses with cognitive load theory in mind. If you have any questions, you can contact me at jones.1553 at write.edu. Thank you for joining me. Take care.